In this video, I'm gonna take you behind the scenes of the ATEM Mini Extreme ISO combined with the AV Cans PTZ camera. And I'm gonna show you all the accessories that we have to actually build the full setup. This is specifically for a church live streaming, but you can use the same thing for any kind of live streaming setup. So let's not take much time. Let's get right into it. What's up guys, my name is Sam, Lab production tips and tools here and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, consider joining the family by subscribing and let's navigate the live streaming world together. Today, I thought I would show you uh, an actual setup that I got to work on, which is uh, actually uh, a combination of the ATEM Mini Extreme ISO and some PTZ cameras. Again, this is not really 100% complete because as you know, the ATM Mini Extreme ISO can take up to eight cameras. So this is just the beginning of building a, a natural bigger setup. But, you know, I thought I will show you uh, a quick video just to show you how we're connecting things, some of the accessories that you may need, especially if you are getting to the uh, PTZ camera world. Uh, by the way, you don't need to get the actual ATM Mini Extreme ISO. If you don't need all the eight inputs, you can get the ATM Mini uh, Pro or the ATM Mini, again, depending on what you need specifically, because the ATM Mini Pro or the ATM Mini is gonna be able to actually give you uh, four inputs, which is which could be more than enough for some people. So let's get right into it. The first thing is the ATM Mini Extreme ISO. And I'm, what I'm showing you today is basically the first uh, phase, which is testing in my studio, actually, before we take the whole thing to church. So this is the ATEM Mini Extreme ISO, which can record live stream. And it can actually, the fact that is the ISO model, it can record each camera individually. So basically, so that's what we have first. And the second uh, thing we have, obviously, we have multiple PTZ cameras. But to start, we started with two PTZ cameras. So the PTZ cameras we're using uh, are AV cans. They both have 30 uh, times uh, optical zoom and they have NDI. We're not going to be using the NDI feature because we have a switcher. So we're going to be uh, actually connecting directly with an HDMI cable. So we're going to get uh, the HDMI cable from each. If you want to use SDI, they say if you're running long distances, in fact, one of the cameras, because it's going to be far away. So we got uh, an SDI coming from the camera and then we got an HDMI converter, which is going to convert from SDI to HDMI to be able to input into uh, the Blackmagic uh, ATM Mini uh, Extreme ISO. So that's how we're running the second camera. But the first one, because it's not really too far from the switcher, uh, we're going to be using a normal HDMI cable. The PTZ camera is really uh, awesome. It's really small, as you can see, super smooth. Love it. You can use the NDI function if you want to kind of preview it in vmix sometimes but honestly for our use case scenario we're not gonna be using it again but other than that uh it's a nice camera again it's a ptz camera so like for a ptz camera has nice uh, good quality image uh what i would say because ptz cameras they actually they actually tend to be uh, not perform well in low light so you need to have enough lighting to actually be able to get a good image from this camera but other than that we got a IP controller for this setup again i went with the IP controller uh, for the ptz camera the reason being uh, is because it's easy to connect everything together so you can connect uh, on a network switch, which is something that I'm going to be talking about again uh, for this specific setup. So uh, with an IP, it's easy to get a Ethernet cable and be able to connect everything and everything is kind of connected on the same network. So that's why I went with an IP controller. Another cool thing that I love about this controller is the fact that it has poe poe which is power over ethernet so that's very very important and i do actually recommend when you're buying a a controller like this and buying a ptz camera i do recommend 100 to get a ptz camera with poe and a controller of course with poe 
The reason being, if you want to hang your PTZ camera up in the ceiling, because most of the people actually who buy this kind of camera is gonna hang them somewhere uh, far, you may not have a power outlet there. So to be able to get power there, it's gonna be complicated. You don't wanna be uh, dragging cables and stuff like that. So the reason why I recommend PoE is that the fact that you can actually power the camera using only one ethernet cable so the ethernet cable can be used to actually send the internet connection to the camera at the same time send the power to the camera so that's really really cool if you're using ndi in our case we're not going to be using ndi but the camera has ndi so if we were you were using ndi that's even easier because the same ethernet cable can bring the image from the camera and at the same time be visible to the network to be able to actually control the camera using another ip controller somewhere without having to run any other cable so this is really really good okay which takes me to the next item which is gonna be the poe switch so basically this is gonna be the device that is going to power everything and is going to kind of be uh, the central point to uh, kind of connect all the computers you know that you're using to live stream and connect you can even connect the atm mini extreme iso if you want to access it through network or you ever want to kind of live stream using the actual switcher without using a computer or vmix or any other software so you can connect that to the switch at the same time obviously you're gonna connect the ptz uh, ip controller and the ptz camera on the same switch so everything is gonna be connected and if i can show you a little quick here the way i'm setting it up so as you can see i have the actual uh switch the switch obviously is the only device that is connected to power okay so you're gonna need to connect that to power to the actual power now the atm mini extreme iso has to be connected to power as well because it's not it does not have uh poe right so you cannot power it using ethernet but other than that uh the ptz camera as you can see the av cans ptz camera is right here on on a small stand okay so as you can see uh it's being powered by one cable and that's the ethernet cable right so as you can see the cable is coming from the camera and it's going into the switch now i have another ethernet cable going to the controller as you can see this is the controller it's a nice controller by the way so this is it and as you can see it's being powered by the little ethernet cable that is connected to it right so i'm not using the power cable even if it comes with the power cable the ptz camera does come with the power cable as well but i'm not using them right because of the uh power over ethernet uh feature built into both devices so that's that and obviously i'm connecting the ATM Mini Extreme ISO to the PTZ camera to be able to send in, to send the image using the HDMI cable. So as you can see, this is the HDMI cable coming from the PTZ camera into the Blackmagic Design ATM Mini uh, Extreme ISO. Now, for now, I only have one camera connected because I was just testing and kind of connecting with the IP address and stuff but as you can see everything is working okay and that's the multi view on the big screen so we're gonna be installing this everything in a church obviously and this is gonna be a nice setup with the rest with other cameras as well obviously and the plan is to be able to actually use this setup with vmix for the moment so not gonna be using the 8 10 mini to live stream but you can still do it really it's a choice so what are my thoughts about this setup honestly i think it's a nice setup uh it's not super super affordable for everyone okay but it can it could give you an idea especially if you're trying to get into ptz cameras uh for live streaming uh for churches or conferences where you need like people to actually be able to sit in a room where they can control have access to the camera be able to zoom because the ptz camera that we are using right now the av cans has 30 times uh optical zoom so it's really it can zoom really far okay so that's really good also like the atm mini extreme iso it's a dope uh, switcher so uh this is gonna be super super exciting one of the things that i've noticed uh the user guide that comes with the uh, actual ptz camera is kind of not clear on how to 
connect everything, especially if you don't understand the IP address thing. You know, if you're not tech savvy, it may take you, you know, a few tutorials on YouTube. You may have to kind of watch those uh, to be able to figure it out. Uh, but other than that, once you have you have it working, everything comes together easily. And I believe this is a nice setup. Again, I'm not a big fan of PTZ cameras, uh, especially because of their performance in low light. And I really love having some good depth of field. And I don't think you can get some good depth of field with PTZ cameras like camcorders. But again, it depends on what you need and what you want. Personally, I've seen people, most people want PTZ cameras because they don't have enough volunteers or enough labor to be able to operate cameras because let's face it if you have five six cameras you need six people kind of operating the cameras uh, but if you have ptz cameras you can control five six ptz cameras using one controller you can have multiple presets uh, already pre uh, built for you you can have some smooth zooming already kind of pre-built into your controller and be able to only one person can operate up to five cameras maybe have another person kind of live streaming and do the switching and you know adding graphics and stuff like that so that's one advantage of having ptz a ptz or ptz cameras do i recommend this setup yes absolutely i love the camera the camera has good quality i love the controller i love the switch uh, I love everything that I'm using uh, I'm using right now and if you try to get this type of setup I will 100% recommend it because uh, it works fine so easy to use and it's kind of volunteer or labor friendly so man I will say it's nice I'm gonna put links of everything that I'm actually using right now so for you guys to check them out on Amazon if you're interested especially the switch the controller and the PTZ camera I just feel like they're actually uh, kind of affordable uh, if you check out the prices you're gonna see that they're not really that expensive at the same time if you're interested in the ATEM mini extreme ISO I'm gonna put a link as well but I'm gonna give you some other choices like the ATEM mini pro ATEM mini or the ATEM uh, mini uh, extreme just the extreme not the extreme ISO because you know let's face it the ISO you get to record each camera individually but you get to actually pay a little more money for that feature so it's gonna depend on what you need but if you're not sure about what you need and you need help uh, actually uh, deciding feel free to reach out to me I'll be more than happy to help you or you can leave a comment again I'll be more than happy to assist you or give you more information about this setup I also have to mention that I've done videos on each item that you see uh, on this setup so make sure you check those out if you want to know what the switch can do more features about the switch or more features about the ptz camera itself or the atem mini extreme iso i'll put some links down below and at the end of the video for you guys to take a look other than that i appreciate you guys being here and i hope this video was helpful don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my channel if you are into live streaming and video recording and you enjoy of course my content again thanks for watching and i'll see you on my next video take care